what's up everybody thank you for checking me out my name is echo simpson i'm a ghanaian and i live in ghana you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it it was recommended or suggested to you on youtube my youtube channel is to connect africans and the motherland to africans in the diaspora i'm standing in for the minister for trade and industry the honorable alan kuduche martin I hate to be doing this because it's got such huge shoes. I'm just uh, tipping at the edge of those shoes. I represent also the Ghana Export Promotion Authority, which I believe should have been a key partner in what is happening here. We have talked behind the scenes and we have decided that going forward, we are going to be a strong supporter of this initiative. <laughs> when I got here last night and I saw the people, I saw our sisters and brothers and I was like, wow, this is a huge thing. I had no clue what this whole thing was about. And I started talking to other people. I got to understand what the program is about. And I said, it's bigger than I thought. This is a huge thing. I mean, I should have been here from day one, supporting. So we, our apologies, we are going to be part of this initiative all the way. Yeah. Yeah. So let me digress. I have been sent, and I'm going to give the keynote address by the Honorable Alan Kuduche Martin, the Minister for trade and industry. Key Okata Chief Professor Amenfi, the A of Asebu Kingdom. Osanae Ma Peziata II, King of Ogwa Traditional Area. Otufo Amwasa Zwingu the Fourth, King of Chifuhima Traditional Area. Ambassador Arikana Chiongori Kwao, President, Founder, and CEO of the African Diaspora Development Institute, Professor PLO Lomomba, President of the GNCCI, Mr. Clement Jose, and friends of from the diaspora, captains of industry, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, Nanano. It is a great pleasure for me to deliver the keynote address at this Mending Wakanda One Trade Expo. First of all, I would like to commend the African Diaspora Development Institute, AEDI, the Central Region Chamber of Commerce, the Kingdom of Asebo, Chikohima, and the City of Cape Coast for putting together this important event that is aimed at uplifting the economic fortunes of Cape Coast through sustainable investment, and I dare say not only Cape Coast, but of Ghana and of course Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, trade expositions are events that create opportunities for knowledge and idea sharing, networking, investment and technology advancement, learning of best practices, deliberating on current trends, and innovation showcasing of achievements, inventions and opportunities amongst others. I with a firm conviction that the Wakanda One Trade Expo will create a platform for foreign direct investments, networking and knowledge transfer for Ghana and most especially the Central Region, since the objective of the Expo is to highlight the opportunities in Ghana and introduce them to Africans in the diaspora and friends of Africa. Encourage collaboration between African diaspora, friends of Africa, and Africa businesses. Encourage African diaspora and friends of Africa to support women and youth programs through partnerships. This event is taking place at a time that the COVID-19 pandemic is ravaging the world economy but despite these unpredictable and uncertain times, our global African family continues to express their desire to come home to Africa and to 
Ghana to invest to augment government efforts at eradicating poverty through wealth creation. We are ready to welcome you and provide the most positive experience as we make a decision to connect with Ghana through travel, investments, community engagement, business collaborations, and repatriation. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency Nana Adudan Kwari Kufuadu, declared the year 2019 as the year of return which is an initiative intended to encourage Africans in the diaspora to come to Africa to settle and invest in the continent. Similarly, the Africa Diaspora Development Institute was born out of the desire to bring Africa to the world and the world to Africa. The aim of the institute is to become the bridge that connects Africa and Africans in the diaspora to find information about Africa and to navigate the seminally difficult terrain in order to facilitate investment and exchanges in Africa, which resonates perfectly well with His Excellency, the President's vision of the year of return. Distinguished invited guests, as a ministry responsible for enhancing private sector competitiveness in Ghana, various policies, programs, and projects have been outlined to help fast track the creation of a very conducive climate for businesses in the country. As such, the ministry is implementing a 10 point plan for industrial transformation to, amongst others, boost the performance of Ghana's industrial sector and position it as the catalyst for the socio-economic transformation of the country and also create investment opportunities for our diaspora brothers and sisters. Critical components of this plan are the famous One District, One Factory Initiative, Industrial Parks and Special Economic Zones Initiative, Strategic Anchor Industries Initiative, and the Export Development and Diversity program which sits under my agency. The minister didn't add that. <laughs> also, the ministry is implementing the business regulatory reform strategy which is an initiative based on international standards of good regulatory practice adopted by policy makers around the world to ensure that the laws and administrative rules that businesses are required to comply with are based on sound economic principles which enable them to compete and function effectively as engines of economic growth. This strategy is aimed at establishing Ghana as the preferred destination of FDIs in the sub-region. In line with this, an online electronic registry has been developed to serve as a single repository of all business regulations and to provide open and free access to business related acts, legislative instruments, regulatory notices, and administrative directives that are in force in Ghana. As of December 2020, a total of 148 business related acts and statutes, 101 legislative instruments, 26 general business laws, and about 100 bylaws have been analyzed, indexed, and uploaded onto the e registry. All the acts and regulations on the e registry have been categorized by sector and subject areas. Our diaspora brothers and sisters who visit bcp.gov.gh to access the catalog of all these business related instruments for their investment decision making. Nana and distinguished invited guests. It is a truism that without supply of capital, investments cannot occur. Without robust impact driven propositions, 
and organizations, capital will not cross the threshold or remain in the field and without people and structures that facilitate the supply and demand mix. Many impact investments simply will not happen. So the government has recognized that public funding alone will not be sufficient to meet the financing gap. Private sector participation has therefore been identified as one of the available options for addressing this financing gap and improving the quality of infrastructure services. Furthermore, Ghana is currently faced with the task of optimizing its debt store and reforming its debt management. Hence, there is limited fiscal space to provide public sector financing for infrastructure projects. To meet the growing need of infrastructure investments, the role of private sector financing for infrastructure development therefore becomes very, very critical. Ladies and gentlemen, Africa, and for that matter, Ghana, is the future. And building it will be a collaborative effort between continental Africans and historical diaspora. Together, we can shape the future and revitalize our continent into the greatness it is destined for. Through establishing business opportunities, celebrating culture, learning our history and heritage, providing innovations and giving back to our local community, we will rise and change the narrative of Africa. Thank you for your attention.